Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss and show you how we create the Maven project in the Visual Studio Code. Okay, so now let's start. So first of all, you need to install the Java extension in the Visual Studio. So for that, go to the extension option, type the Java, okay, and click. So you will get the extension pack for Java and you need to install this extension. So I have already installed, that's why we are getting here uninstall disable buttons, okay. But if you have not installed, you will get option like suppose that, let me check here. You will see the buttons like install button and then click on the install button, it will install in your Visual Studio code. So if you want to go from scratch, how we download, set up the Visual Studio and then how we install the uh, Java extension, then watch my previous video. I have added the links in the description. Watch first that video, that will be helpful how we set up the Visual Studio code for Java. Okay, so once the extension is installed, okay, if you open the explorer, you will see the create java project button and at the here bottom you can see there is a maven option is also available so now we can create a java project by using the create java project button or we can also use here plus button to create maven project okay so let's click here create java project so when I click, you can see here we are getting option to select the project type, which type of project we are going to create. So first is give you a normal Java project without any build tools. Second option we have Maven, okay. We, if we select this option, it will give us the Maven project. Similar type Gradle and other options we have. So let's click on the Maven because I am going to create a Maven project. So click on the second option here, click, you will see new option is coming here. So where we need to select the arc type. There are different different arc types, okay, based on our requirement, we can select the arc type. I am going to select this arc type, quick start, click on this. Then it's asking what is the version. So version I am going to select 1.4, this is the latest one. And then we need to here give the group ID. So com dot example. So let's give me com dot sample. I am giving the group ID of the event project. Then again we need to give the artifact ID. This is also project. So giving the demo. Okay. Click enter. Now it is asking like where we need to create the project. So I am going to desktop and there is a project so java project select this okay now you can see this is started creating the project and the, on the terminal you can see this commands is running and this is basically maven command mbn which will need all the information what we have passed to generate the project using generate commands Okay, now it's asking define value for property version this. Okay, so let's give the here, I'm giving test package com.example or we need to change. So let's go with the default build success means project is created. Terminal will be reused by task press any key to close it. So I'm just closing the terminal. Okay. In the right side at the bottom, you can see Maven project demo is created under this location. So if you want to open the project in the Visual Studio code, click on the open button. You can see project is added and now it started the building the project. So now if I open, you will see main test, two source folder is created, target is folder now you can see created where it will store all the compiles files okay and in the test folders we have com 
dot example basically here src main test src main java and src test java there are two packages two source folder is created and under the src main there is a com dot example package and one simple java file is created similar type if i go in the test java source folder under the com example one file is test file is created here okay we can run this this is the junit test okay and you can see this is running play button is coming here now at the bottom there is a maven option click on this okay and there is a in this section you can see the details life cycle plugins dependencies in dependencies as of now there is only one dependency that's why we can see junit and there is one default uh, dependency is added so under the src under the project section you can see src main java okay this is one source src test java this is second source and demo is the project name and these are the this is the package and this is the jre library okay java jre and second option is maven dependency where we can see maven dependency jar files okay if i open the pom.xml file you can see right this is the pom.xml file which will be useful by maven and here we can change the version suppose that if you want to use the java 8 so just change the java 1.8 okay yes earlier okay so one by default dependency is ready now your maven project is ready to kick start to write some code okay if you want to add something like suppose that some uh, dependencies like we have here the SNG dependencies copy this go to back and add the dependency in pom.xml file so dependencies added here we are getting option build was modified do you want to synchronize the java class path yes okay so you can see some more jar file is added here SNG, self4j, JSR, jQuery, jcommander, these new jar file is added. After we added, I added the SNG dependency. Now let's create one simple Java file, Java code. So directly we can create from here as well as from the Java project section. Here go to the package. So this is the com dot example package suppose that i want to create new java, java file here so click on the plus button okay now here enter like i am giving sample test enter okay so class now this is asking do we need to create a class interface enum abstract class or interface okay so i am going to create a class so select this now adding the test Annotation, it need to org testng annotation to import class. Okay, import it. Okay, now let's add one method like testng method test sample. Okay, so let's print here some value testing. Now, here you can see plus button, right? It need we can use this button. To run single test we have here play button at the class level where if i press it will run all the test in the file so let's add one more test this is sample test test sample one this is sample two here this print this it will print two testing two testing testing one and testing two now if i run this you will see only one method will execute and testing one is printed and if i go here you will see only test one is executed now if i click on this plus plus button here it will run both test okay both test is executed and you can see here testing one and testing two we can see okay now maven project is ready we can add the code as per our requirement okay thanks for watching the video and hope this will be this will be helpful